So talk a little bit about being getting to be the, the featured artist, the t-shirt and poster artist for the Sale Arts Festival and what you think about that. Well, I was really excited to be asked to do it because there's like been like an incredible string of other artists that have um, made the posters through what the 43 years they've been around. So it's been like a, it's it's been an honor to be part of that collection. Very cool. So um, what did you want to do whenever you um, did that particular design for that? What, what were you hoping to get across with it? Well, I wanted to um, kind of highlight the just like hang on to like some of the history on like the belts, John Belt and Joy Belt, how they've you know contributed to the Paseo. And then also the uniqueness of Paseo, the buildings are I think the most unique and the best neighborhood in Oklahoma City. And um and the people. Everybody hangs out there. It's just a, a unique, quirky little area. And you've got a gallery down there now that's been open I think you said a little over a year. Mm-hmm. And um, so how has it been um, making that transition to having a gallery? It's been a learning experience, <laughs> but I try to look at it as like a fun space for like everybody to kind of congregate, kind of like a clubhouse that features my work along with like other people's work. So it's been, it's been really, really fun to have and just get, a, you know, get everybody together. So you've had a lot of visibility for your work over the last um, few years with some murals and things like that. Can you talk about how you got kind of back into mural painting? Um, well, the Plaza Walls was a big, big part of that because they asked me, to, I hadn't done a mural in ages, and then Chris Keneally, who I think we met at Saint, in St. Louis at an event called Paint Louis, um, he asked me if I would be interested in painting the mural on Indiana and 16th, and that kind of uh, kick-started my getting back into mural painting. So that one was one that was meant to be pretty temporary, but you've got a couple that are meant to be a little bit longer lasting. Yeah. Do you want to talk about those? Um, I have one on the Lyric Theater wall in the Plaza District, and then I have uh, two large murals over in the Film Row. It's part of the West Village um, group, and it's on the corner of Classen and Sheridan. And all of your um, murals and all of your paintings sort of have these characters in it. So talk a little bit about your Denise Duong, um characters. I think you call them invisible friends or imaginary my, friends. My, 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 my big belief friends. friends. Imaginary friends. Yeah, and it's like uh, I find comfort in them, and they they kind they're narrators of you know like because I feel like there's stories within a story, and so they're like you have people that are narrating the stories that are within the stories and facilitating like the environment or creating the environment so the the human element is definitely like the main focus on um, in most of my pieces. So tell me how you sort of develop these characters and, and put them into these these canvases or murals or whatever. I work. think in time I've just become so comfortable in drawing them that they've kind of like for me taken on a life of their own so they so if I put them in a position where I'm like Ugh, I was like I don't know that personality I just gave this guy that's always like, he's pretty like neutral, you know? All of a sudden he seems kind of evil and I'm like, I don't, I'm not cool with that. <laughs> and so I try to like, so they've, de in year, in time, they've developed a, uh, a certain character to me. And so when I'm traveling, they're there. And I, mean, I have like, you know, staple characters, like um, for the Paseo Arts Festival this year, I've created two uh, pins and I decided to base it on two of the main characters I usually, um, uh, draw and so you'll get to see them They're at the Paseo Festival. <laughs> so so the, you do have some that are um, unique I guess to each piece but then there's some that appear over and over again? Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. So talk about that stable of characters that you have that, that I guess there's a few that um, sort of always show up over and over again. I, yeah, I think it's, I mean, there's definitely like they, um, there's certain ones that I feel like I, it's it, like kind of reflects me a little bit more like I was sketching this morning and the, there was one lady, she was just, um, she's probably the, the main character of this piece, but the leather lady to the right, I felt like it was more a reflection of me kind of watching the rest of it happen. And so, um, and there's like a couple of men in there that they're, they're all very like, um, uh, like I drew the man this morning and I thought, I'd make him kind of like do kind of something evil and I was like, oh, I can't though. I was like, he's just, that's just not him. And so I, I started sketching other styles and faces of other men 
to um, play that role because they're not, I don't want them to repeat, you know, in my life. <laughs> and so, yes, I do tend to keep like light, more lighthearted, good characters in my, uh, my pieces. And whimsical gets thrown around a lot with your work. Um, I guess, is that how you see them or do you see them differently? I mean, it's the, the yeah, I would say that whimsical is not a bad word. I think it's, and I think that there's like, um, it's whimsical, I feel like, but there's also like, if you look closely, there's some, a little bit of darkness and there's like emotion to it. And I'm not trying to say whimsical doesn't have emotion, but sometimes it can imply that. But I feel like there's a, a lot of emotion also attached to a lot of my pieces. It's just not all necessarily like cheery. I guess, right. But it's, yeah. There's some depth to it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like, I guess, do you hope that people sort of get to know these characters as they see them maybe around town in different yeah. places and murals or on posters or in paintings? Do you hope that people kind of get to know your your imaginary friends a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Not very many people share their imaginary friends. <laughs> people just keep them to themselves. And I'm like, oh, hanging out with my friends tonight <laughs> in the studio. But now everybody gets to hang out with them, like in Film Row. Yeah, yeah. Is that fun to get to take your imaginary friends out into the city? <laughs> yeah, and it's fun to see other people hang out with them, like people sharing pictures of, you know, them at the Lyric Theater wall or, you know, the Film Row piece. So, yeah, it's fun. How can people find out more about your work? Um, well, I have Little D Gallery in Oklahoma City, and then also JRB Art has my artwork, and then a website, uh, deniseduongart.com.